Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am Tamia. Some people call me Tamia Lee, but you know, it's only one person to call me mommy. So welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be cooking. I'm trying to cook while that one person that calls me mommy sleeping so I can get this video and this meal done. But today we're gonna be um, cooking zucchini with um, Philly cheesesteak in the inside. So it's gonna be like a zucchini Philly cheesesteak bowl. I think that's what they call it. But I've seen it on Pinterest, on YouTube. I was like, mm, that look good. And I'm on this low carb diet. So I'm really, really, really trying to cook more. But look at my fro. My fro look big. And this is all me. This is all me. You know. You know. So, um, I kind of already got started because my phone died. And I just, ooh. But, um, before you get started, you want to always wash your hands. I already washed my hands. And I'm going to show you all the stuff that I'm going to use today. So, I have zucchini. I'm going to use three zucchini. Um, I have this bell pepper. And I have an onion. Which I think I already put the onion back in the fridge because I'm not using many onions like straight. I'm not using much onions because I really don't eat onions like that so I'm just using like a little bit you know but um so I got that I'm using this steak um that I got from Walmart and I'm using this Alfredo sauce butter, some provolone cheese, and some salt and pepper, or whatever, but, um, so yeah, I just started to cut this onion, well, this bell pepper up, the onions that I'm using is sweet onions, and, um, they don't burn your eyes, I remember when I was younger, onions used to burn my eyes, but they don't burn my eyes, I think this is a different type of onions, but, so, like I said, I'm just chopping this bell pepper up, and I, I don't know, I guess I'll use the whole, I don't know, I probably won't use the whole thing, I'll just use a half, and before you, um, like, use any vegetables, like, just make sure you wash them, because that's what I do. I'm going to list, like, the videos where I got this recipe from, I'm not doing the mine just like theirs, but... You know, I'm kind of putting my own little shindig to it or whatever. So, I'm going to wash off these zucchini first. Then I'll return. Alright, so I'm going to cut the ends off the zucchini. going to carve the inside of this out like like this Ooh, like this These little insides, I just throw them away. And you might want to get you, like, I have a little plastic bag on this side and this side. Just so I don't have to keep running back and forth back there to the trash can. Alright, so this is how it should look once you've cut all of the zucchini out of the inside of the zucchini um i decided to go back and add some red peppers as well so right now what i'm doing is just slicing up the red peppers just like i did the green peppers all 
All right, so now I'm gonna cook my vegetables and I'm just gonna add some butter to the pan and let the butter melt and get hot. I'm not gonna be talking through like, I'm gonna do a voiceover for like the rest of the video, but I think I used too much butter, but I don't wanna get copyrighted cause Kyle done woke up and he watched your elbow, so. But just let your butter melt, like so. All right, so once your butter is melted, what you want to do is add your vegetables and just wait till they um, start cooking. You'll know when they start cooking because they'll start smoking just like um, it is here. And you just want to keep stirring it every now and then. And you know when it's done because it'll look brown or um, they'll look kind of burnt-ish. I like mine to look burnt-ish versus you know just a light brown so you'll just go ahead and um like i said wait until they get done so once it's done uh, what you want to do is just set it to the side in a plate clean out the pan if you're using the same pan and then go ahead and add your steak um to the um cleaning pan and what I did was added three, but I ended up adding like three more slices because once it starts to cook, it's really less than it looks. I'm going to add some garlic powder and some salt and pepper to the meat just for a little seasoning and a little taste. Now you can add whatever seasoning you want. I'm new to cooking, so this is just what I do. Once I get brown like this, um, there will be some grease in there. And I just poured like a little of the grease out. And then um, I'll go ahead and add some Alfredo sauce. I just kind of winged it with the Alfredo sauce. I'm not sure how much I put in there. You know, I just poured a little bit. And then if I feel like I need some more, I'll add a little bit more, you know, trial and error. All right, so then I'm just going to add my cooked vegetables that I cooked earlier. I'm just going to mix it all together like so. Super easy. Um, you know, nothing hard. So I just mix it together, let it cook. I'm cooking it on a low temp. So, yeah. Then I'm going to get my zucchini out, put it on the frying pan. Now, this is where I messed up, y'all. Do not spray your zucchini with any type of oil, okay? That's where I mix, messed up making these. They were still good this way, but do not spray your zucchini with oil, okay? Okay. So, um, now what I'm gonna do is take the provolone cheese and just add it to the inside of my zucchini bolts like so provolone cheese to me it's what makes philly cheesesteak a philly cheesesteak because i just love for it to be you know just a little chilly and um as you can see i did throw some back in the actual frying pan with the meat and the vegetables as well and i was just showing you there you know the um low carbs in this cheese Alright, so now I'm just going to get me a little plastic spoon and add my um, meat and vegetables to the zucchini bowl like so. I'm just going to put it in the middle on top of that cheese. And as you can see, the cheese is melted pretty good. Um, actually in the Philly, I mean in the cheesesteak and in the vegetables. So just go ahead and fill up your zucchini bowls make sure you get vegetables and meat in there because that is really what's gonna um give it flavor and get it give it taste now i'm just gonna smack some more cheese on the top um because when that cheese melt, girl, it's, it, it's heaven. Like, it's good for real, for real. So, um, that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. I put mine in the oven for about 25 minutes on 350. And this is how it looks. However, my oven does cook slower. So, if you have a faster cooking oven, then just, you know, watch it. 
now this is how they look the this softens the zucchini and as you can see it's sliding and it has oil in the pan that's why i say don't add the oil but they were still really good so um yeah that's about it this is how they looked i hope you guys enjoy this don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel girl and yeah i'll talk to you later